Hey everyone, Ravenous here. Welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV and our playthrough of 2.0 through 3.2. Last time, we got everything we need to go up against Garuda, except for we didn't have the right level, so off camera, I got us up to level 44, just the right level for this. And now we, we're going to have this, as well as another instance we'll do in probably the next episode. But for now, we are going to go up against Garuda. And by the way, I did get new weapons. I did the little dungeon grade. But let us continue off exactly where we left off. Because I did have, Sid did have some dialogue before this quest window, which we recorded last time. And now we will go right into it. Continue on. <sighs> there. She's ready. She stirs. You're creepy. To Curthus, and an audience with the Harpy Queen Garuda. Enterprise, engage. Don't do that. Off we go into the clear blue yonder. Just stare at him the whole time. Damn it. Uh, I I once flew in this airship, and I was not alone. There were adventurers on board. Adventurers like you. Oh, echo time. Just how long have I worn these damn goggles? Yes, I fancied myself a trendsetter in my younger days. A young prodigy admired by all, exactly like his father. He was a pretty boy. Born and raised in Garlemald. It was only natural that the precocious young student should become an engineer. Had his father not done the same? Father, when did we stop seeing eye to eye? Looks like he's getting a bibber back. When did Meteor become your everything, and your loved ones cease to matter?
You abandoned us all. But he was there for me, Father. There for me when you were not. Though he proved no better in the end. Gaius was just another man with an all-consuming obsession. And so I ran, left the Empire behind, and came to Eorzea, where I built the ironworks. Interesting. I forgot all about that. Ah, yes, it was then that I first donned these goggles. They appeared magically. <laughs> Eorzea opened my eyes. It was home to so many manner of people, each with their own hopes and dreams. People worth saving, and so I fought beside them. I wanted to prove that my knowledge could serve a nobler purpose. I wanted to prove that there was another way. And it all began that day when I found my new home. I could see all that because of the echo. How wonderful it was. The wind in your hair, the endless sky. That light. It was you, wasn't it? It's surprising how few people know this, but all pure blood guardians have a third eye. Perhaps mine helped me recognize you, or perhaps it was just a lucky guess. Enterprise was made for this. To carry Eorzea's protectors into battle. I am proud to be able to call her my own. Sid? What exactly do you remember? Alphinord, my boy. Sorry to have been such a burden. My people and my purpose. Everything. Come, it would be rude to keep Garuda waiting. Yay! Sid is back. All right. Time to take her down. What is it, Ravina? Don't tell me you're having second thoughts at a time like this. Or do you truly wish to return to Gridania? Nope. I'm good here. All our efforts, all our travels, all of it was for this. Make ready, Ravina, for the end is nigh, be it hers or our own. Or, uh, or our own. Alright, so. We are going to have to get into queue so we can take on Garuda.
Who dares intrude upon my sanctuary? You, your insolence should not go unpunished, Landwalkers. Twelve preserves. She, she's huge. As I live and breathe. Over there, look. Amalja and Kobold prisoners? But why would the exile bring them here? Wherefore, uh, wherefore come you hither, foolish mortals? Garuda, we have come to put an aid to your reign of terror. Uh, hear you this blasph blasphemy, my children? These land walkers would bring me low. You who are bound to crawl upon the earth should revere me, for I am the wind. Uh, did we not take to the skies and slip your defenses? We are bound by nothing, Garuda. You think your playthings give you strength? They will not help you here, Landwalker. This is my realm, where none can challenge my supremacy. Struggle... Uh, Though you may, I shall sl uh, slake the roots with your blood and uh, festoon the canopy with your entrails. Ha 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 Slay the unfeathered ones, we shall. As an offering to Garuda, they will serve. Leave the, uh, the, leave the exile to us, Ravina. We will keep them distracted while you deal with her. While you deal with her. Do not fail, Ravina. Remember, you fight for the Scions, for Aerosia. This worm would die by my own hand. Come then, I shall grant you that which you seek. Alright. Let's get right to it. See, Anita, she has a lot of different AoEs, and we need to keep her from hitting the four pillars as much as possible. Because... Those will are what are going to keep us alive when she does her uh, major attack. And oh wait, right here. Got to hide behind those so she doesn't uh, obliterate us. Take out these. All right, all down. Back to punching her. She hits me with friction. See, that's what, uh, why we don't stand near the pillars. Is that she'll randomly target somebody with friction, and it's an AOE that'll hit the pillars. Now, from right, she should be going to the center and feathers. Take these out. 
because after a while these will explode. So we're trying to make sure they don't explode. All right. So each pillar has about like three three rocks, even though there's a, a capstone on them. And however many of those are produces damage from aerial blast there. So. Yep. Now, we are a bit too close to edge. You're not going to want to stand all the way over here. Oh no, actually she's in just the right spot. Good. Because now we can't go to the outer edge or else we get hurt. We're not going to be able to get uh, a level two, so might as well use it now. And uh, while we do have feathers, we need to make sure we... Uh, we're, uh, honestly, we can just burn her down now. This used to be much harder when uh, it was, like, new for people. Anyway. No, 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 no! What? How are the hells? This is my this is my realm. You have no hope here. None. None. Do you truly believe you could defy a god, Landwalkers? Done it twice before. My power is limitless, my children legion, and they have rendered unto me a wealth of crystals. Their gifts sustain me, their faith empowers me. None shall save my children, none save my children will escape the reckoning, mortals, and those who would use my cr crystals to awaken the rest shall realize the folly of their faith. Then all shall worship none but me, the one true God. <laughs> of course, worship. So long as the Ixel keep praying, she will never fall. Then let's stop them. I thought you guys were doing that earlier. Ugh. <laughs> none will... None... No harm will come to you, my children. This is only the beginning, Landwalkers. All who oppose me shall suffer for their defiance. Soon the worms of the forest shall receive my judgment. The desert vermin next. Their walls of stone shall, will not shield them from the tempest. And then I will take, uh, take vengeance on uh, the sea lions. Who, their wooden boats cannot outrun the wind. Tremble, mortals! Shall I? I shall visit you all in time, and all shall be mine, all mine. You, landwalker, you who dared raise your hand against me, you shall be the first to pay for your sins, not with your death, but with your life. You will serve me, landwalker, to your last breath. Yeah, that's not gonna work on me. I'm protected. No, no! I claimed you! You should be mine! Yeah, not happening. Sorry, that's mine now. I do believe 
that makes all of them. Right? I think so. Yep. Got all of them. What? What are you? What have you done to me? No mortal should possess such power. This, this is impossible. Yeah, they did time the, uh, they really, in, in later instances, they timed that type of cutscene for after I hit exit, so. But it's okay. Because I'm pretty sure I have another cutscene now. It's going to be cutscene heavy day. Do you not tremble at my might? Why do you not beg for mercy? Why do you not die? We've done it. I know it. Ah, it's impossible. It is. Kill you all. Is that all? Oh, Lady of the Vortex. Oh, mighty Garuda. Of all primals, the most terrible. I say again, is that all? Gaius. Ah, uh, Sid, my boy, you look well. For one who has forsaken kin and country, I wonder what else you will forsake before the day is done. What? Kind of harsh. What exactly did you hope to accomplish here this day? I... Well, I shall accomplish far more. You one-shot all of them. Is that all? Is that all? Insolent mortal! I shall make you suffer! That foul stench! I see now. She has touched you! Very well. Seven hells, does she still mean to fight? Succor in our hour of need. Save us, Titan, Lord of Crags. Ah, it hurts us so. The pain, the pain. What is she? Twelve preserve. She cannot mean to. of them. No. No, this is all wrong. Stop gawping, boy. We must run. <laughs> Time to go. Surrender yourselves unto me. I would feast upon your ether. None shall stand against the wind! Fair 
witness to the glory of the Empire. Good. It is you who will suffer, Garuda. Ancient Alec had ways of dealing with your kind. Now, look on their ultimate weapon, Icon, and despair. Ate all three of them. Magnificent. It exceeds all expectation. That is bad for us. With each primal it consumes, it grows more powerful. A marvel, is it not? Such is the fate of those who oppose the Empire. There will be no warriors of light to save you this time. If your leaders are as wise as they are reported, they will surrender. Your skills are impressive, but they will not be enough. That's bad for us. Twelve, have mercy. What chance have we against such an ungodly creation? And who was that armored devil? That was Gaius Van Balsar, Legatus of the 14th Imperial Legion and Supreme Commander of the Garlean Invasion Force in Eorzea. Of course, the Black Wolf. How could I not realize? Grandfather mentions him in his journal. I was never so naive as to think the man would abandon his ambitions. But these developments are beyond my worst expectations. What have you been doing these past five years? How could something of this magnitude have escaped the Alliance's attention? We heard no whispers, saw no signs. In the wake of the Calamity, the Empire seized land and built outposts, but that was the extent of their aggression. Damn it, Gaius. Where in the seven hells did you find that thing? It has Good been a questions. day of unexpected developments, but the fact remains, Garuda is no longer a threat. While I take no comfort in the manner of her downfall, it does mean that we may safely put the matter of the primals to one side, for the time being at least. Yeah. Which just leaves the matter of Gaius's new toy. Indeed. That weapon poses the greatest threat to Eorzea. It must be destroyed. But first, we must needs find out all we can. Let us make for Vesper Bay. We shall rebuild the Scions. All is not yet lost, my friend. For we bear the light, and shall surely lead our people from the darkness. Good. So, Garuda no longer a threat. The uh, Garleans is still a bit of a threat. So, what I'm going to do is we are going to leave, or no, I'm going to check in now. Well, that was an experience I'd rather not have again. 
Something has been troubling me, Ravina. Shortly before the Black Wolf took center stage, when Gruda attempted to claim you as her own, I could have sworn I saw... Ah, uh, but I'm sure I was mistaken. In times of great stress, the evidence of, of the eye is apt to be misread by even the most inquiring mind. Forget I mentioned it. Returning to the subject of our earlier discussion, we may, we may consider the matter of the Primal's clothes until further notice. No beast tribe will dare summon their gods so long as that weapon exists. Truly a more if, uh, effective deterrent I could not imagine. It almost seems a shame the plot, it's a plot its destruction. Alright, and let's see, compare the hat. I think my hat is better. Yeah. So, buddy. Alright, but we'll have to come back to the main story in a couple episodes, because in the next one, we're going to do a new dungeon. So, that we unlocked at level 44, we still need to grab the quest to do so. So, we will do that in the next one. So, if you enjoyed this, give a like. Any thoughts, comments down below. If you haven't subscribed, click on my beautiful face. If you like support these videos, check out my Patreon. And thank you for watching. Until next time, later. <laughs>